Brad Stotts once again with Steel Shop Mafia here to talk to you about a little bit more of Greenhead Gear decoys. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. Obviously, we've pretty much touched everything on the Greenhead Gear. We've touched uh, paint quality. We've touched durability. We've touched how they sit in the water. But I wanted to talk to you about their standard series, the Dabbling Ducks especially. And I wanted to I wanted to start with this thing. This is the beauty of the Hot Buy. This is the Hot Buy series. Obviously, you can see right on the keel, it says hot buy. Um, this here, I believe it's six drakes, six hens. If things are still the same, this set, this is $34 a dozen, folks. That's the reason it's called the hot buy series. You can't buy a dozen decoys for $34 bucks anywhere else in this world. Just here. So, here's, here's my tip with these. Now, don't go out. Obviously, we set out big spreads. We get into the 80s of duck decoys that are out there. 86, 87 duck decoys in one spread because we hunt big pieces of water. That's how, it, that's how it is here in New Mexico a lot of times for us. This, in particular, don't go buy 80 of these because the price is perfect. Everyone that comes has the low sitting head, resting head. 80 ducks are not going to sit at the same time with resting heads like that. So don't buy 80 of them. Another thing that's that I think is the reason they're able to price them this way, the 60-40 keel. If you'll notice, the 60-40 keel, which is the heavier keel on the front, makes that duck rest a little bit more natural. That is gone here. That is gone here. Here's what you want to use these for. This is what this decoy, in my opinion, is designed for. Filler. You get your most realistic decoys out on the edge. That's your face decoys. That's what the duck's looking at when they sit down. This is filler. This is all the stuff in the background. These are the ducks that are up by the weeds that the duck sees but never really pays attention to. These decoys are great filler. I personally, I think I have like three dozen of these. And I use them as just that, as just filler in spots where I need to take up some dead water. If you don't want the duck landing there, put a dozen of these over there. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is best for. Don't use this as your primary decoy because it's not going to work for you as good as some, as some of these other will. So then let's talk about let's talk about the oversized series of the mallards, in particularly. Uh, this is they only do the oversized series in a couple of the canvasback, the uh, the golden eye, the mallard, maybe a couple others, but not many, not many. The mallard's great. Obviously, it's a big duck, especially compared to especially compared to your hot buy. That's a bigger duck there. Both of these have taken BBs. I some of our guys are knuckleheads. I'm not gonna lie to you. My decoys get shot all the time. That one's taking a BB up front. You could see no worse for wear. Now this one has taken a BB. You can't repair that. That one's a goner. But I'm not mad about it because for the price, I'm okay with these going four years in a row and then I have to replace them. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with getting four years out of a set of decoys as much as we use them. We're in and out every weekend, folks. Three years of abuse, if that's all I've got, I'm fine with that. These are going to run you in the 50s and 60 range for, for six. Let's go on to the widgeon and the teal. They This is... The new paint scheme that Greenhead Gear has come up with, it's absolutely beautiful. It reflects the real-life look of, of a widgeon on the water, and I think it's absolutely great. They went ahead on the back end here. They went in with some of that professional feathering, the, the actual grooves to make it look like feathers instead of just the paint. I love them. I think they're great. The, this is a feeder duck, so this is obviously a duck that looks like it's feeding on the water, on the top of the water. This kind of stuff, so you've got the feeding duck, and then you'll have, they, they make the widgeon. When you buy a pack of six widgeon, here's what you get now. You get a rester, a, a main rester, which is going to have a headset kind of like this. You're going to get this in particular feeding duck. You're going to have a high, a looker duck, a high headset. You're going to get a variety, so it looks like a whole set of ducks working. So it's not just so bland. It's not one look of the same ducks throughout the whole thing. And each, you'll find, what's funny is you'll find that each duck, they'll track different on the water according to how they're built. So if this feeder's going to track like this, maybe this rester 
will track a lot wider in in the river current or the wind so that adds versatility you didn't even know you were getting but you're gonna get it I promise so one thing I want to warn you about is this one here greenhead gear does not advertise nor do I that a greenhead gear decoy can withhold a dog chewing that can't happen a dog chews your decoy you're done am I gonna put this out in my spread you're darn right I'm gonna put it out in my spread why I don't know honestly I, d I don't know but I'm gonna do it because it's cool I think but even these teal when you get into the teal even the teal 60 40 keel so you're still getting that same technology even in the little guys you're getting that same tilt forward technology that you would with buying the oversized series so the only green head gear decoy that they make that does not have that 60 40 keel is the hot buy and so and that's probably why they're able to sell them so cheap they're all one standard headset and there's no 60 40 keel but still a great filler decoy one great thing about all green head uh, gear decoys except for the hot buy once again is the tie offs they have a keel tie-off on each end. Tie half of your decoys from this end so they're looking one way. Tie the other half of your decoys from this end so they're looking that way. And you've right there you've changed from every duck looking the same direction on the pond to now they're looking all different directions. That add realism to it as well. And that's easy to do. You do that at the house before you even leave. So that adds a lot of realism to it as well. Greenhead gear decoys, duck... Uh, goose, obviously we'll get into talking about goose decoys. There's lots of different kinds, lots of different uh, models, but green headgear decoys in general, I'm just going to go out with a general statement. Great value, great for hunting, great durability, paint job is great. I have zero complaints whatsoever. And then a piece of sagebrush must have flew by me and freaking stirred me up. It's called... Hold. Hey. <coughs> Thank you. Dang it. <coughs> Gosh dang it. Killing me. Absolutely killing me. <laughs> Killing me with all that nonsense. <clears throat> Jeez. I all felt right. like I've been talking for hours.